H-O Talk Show. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Back like we never left. Sir Charles, Miss Max, I to the ism, H to the Izzo. And, you know, Max, you know, like we're going to make it do what it do. Like, mm -hmm. just as always, uh, we as promised, as promised, um, jam-packed show with so much good information, you know, as we kind of draw to the close of, of yet another year. So many folks stay doing great things in our in our community. And this is one young lady that I'm sure you heard about and been trying to get on the air. Wow. She's she been ducking and dodging me, Max, but we finally got <laughs> her on here, you know, and, and um, you know a black knight legend as well let's let's not forget that what's part. that about what's that about what's that title about black knight black knight legend hey, legend. 28 no state champion hey okay. talk that, that talk that. okay Absolutely. <laughs> okay <laughs> none other than her sports uh founder uh and own jessica carter thank you for joining us today absolutely thank you for having me yes indeed so as i said you know folks would have to be purposely avoid it if they have not heard of, of of her sports and the great work that you're doing um so you know i'm, I'm kind of going to give it over to you because i don't want to mess the storyline up like uh you know bring the listeners up up to date on you know like your history within athletics and what inspired you you know from the very beginning to see the need for 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 her sports how did it come to fruition I mean, I've been an athlete all my life from when I was young playing you know basketball baseball I'm from the country, from Fluvanna, actually. So playing mm. with my family on the dirt courts, mm -hmm. um, kickball, all that. So I, I'm always an athlete at heart. Uh, so after graduating college, I, I wanted to continue to give back in sports. So I started mm. coaching and being working in the school system. I noticed a lot of kids, well, a lot of girls, they don't they're not physically active. Mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of my parents they encouraged me to do other things and so I did coach AAU which gave me a lot of insight mm -hmm. on like building a great um, organization mm -hmm. from Phil and Tabor and so mm -hmm. from there mm -hmm. it, it started growing I wanted to put like health and wellness you character and leadership yes, yeah character <laughs> and leadership development programs in there mm -hmm. and it just started happening it just started trans like it just come was coming in fru um, fru fruition mm -hmm. and so from there during COVID I started doing small workshops, webinars, and just took off like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is awesome. Like, so who do you um serve? So I I know it's it's dedicated for for the female athlete. Uh, like, but when it comes to the uh to the jurisdiction, and um, is it just basketball? You know, um, like with some of the oh, okay, uh, it, yeah, was, I got you. So it's yeah, just not basketball. Details. Um, so the my primary purpose now is to inform the communities that it's just not basketball. Everybody mm -hmm. knows me from the basketball athlete, just like you said, mm -hmm. a basketball well, the legend from basketball, but. Mm -hmm. Um, we do we do a lot of partnerships with different organizations. We do basketball. Now we're starting a flag football league coming up yeah. next year. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we do um, lacrosse, field hockey. So we have different events that um, are related to all sports mm -hmm. for 17, well, for seven to 17 year old girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So what's the age range? Seven to 17. Seven to 17. And it's 17. just okay. not okay. Charlottesville. So yeah. I serve Fluvanna. I've served um, Louise. I've served um, kids over the over the um, mountain. So it was just, mm -hmm. you know, basically Central Virginia. But my seed is Charlottesville. So I'm just trying to work around it. And yeah. you said all yeah. girl, all yes. girl league. All girl. Okay. Yeah, how, how important is that? So as being a female and, and creating this type of league and um, this space in your community and, and, and surrounding um, localities to kind of take advantage of, how important is that to you as a, as a, black female mm -hmm. um to do that or do you even do you even view it that way should, like, i'm just doing what i love i love yeah. basketball i love sports like talk talk about absolutely that i just love sports mm. i'm like i'm the walking blueprint of sports yeah. so just um i'm not recreating a blueprint or anything i'm just giving back what, from what i've learned mm -hmm. um it taught me leadership it taught me how to be a team player it taught me about resiliency mm -hmm. it's, you know responsibility structure and so for me i just want to pour back and be that walking example of mm -hmm. what sports can do. And also it keeps me healthy. Um, so mm -hmm. with the health and wellness portion, that's something else that's important in our community right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So I do really try to target our black and brown communities mm -hmm. because they are really the need, but I don't discriminate all, yeah. all girls are welcome. You get mm -hmm. any nose along the way? Huh? You can't, or you shouldn't, or 
Um, that's too much. No, I get that's too much um, because a lot of people I've noticed I have a, a huge support system and they really care about my my well being. Okay. So they said, mm. "You doing? Are you doing too much, Jessica? You need to sit down. Mm-hmm. You're doing too much." And so I know I'm doing a lot, but I'm just trying to create um, effective and quality, like high quality programs for these girls, so mm-hmm. it can continue on in the future. Mm-hmm. So I won't have to be that one doing all the work. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so as a as a female athlete, as a female and as an athlete or being just competitive by nature, um, a few years ago when my husband and I started our um, food truck, it was then a food cart, um, bumped into a lady while running the business, white female, who told me that as a female, I was not allowed to fail. Mm. I was not allowed to fail at what I was doing. And it wasn't a bad thing. Mm-hmm. It just let me know that there was, she could relate to the struggle of a female stepping out and doing something potentially more than what society said she ought to be able mm-hmm. to do. Um, and the um, eyes, you know, that were on us as females mm-hmm. with what we do in the community and so on and so forth. And so mm-hmm. how much does your competitiveness come into play when you talk about the things that you want to do and determining, willing the fact that this is going to be successful? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you know, I feel like right now it's me versus me. So I'm very competitive. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I can't, I can't sleep. It's like, I'm always, that's why it was so hard for us to connect because I'm Mm -hmm. always, I'm always on the grind. Um, But as a, as a woman, this is a mission for a reason. We Mm -hmm. are, we're second in nature. Mm -hmm. Um, We're looked at as weak. We're looked at as Mm -hmm. um, we can't do what a man can do. Mm -hmm. And right now you can see women's sports is thriving. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and every sport is is given that um entertainment that they that they want people are betting on these women so Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. when it comes to failure failure is not an option for me and so i do i kind of resonate with what that comment was like Mm -hmm. i'm not gonna fail so and plus these kids are my motivation Mm -hmm. and you know i do have failures i do have setbacks but i only learn from it and so i'm not done until i get that championship and it's far from right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah and, and you know, I know people have uh, picked up on it by now that it's way deeper than sports. Mm-hmm. Um, like, talk about some of the things that you've done and because you've done so many <laughs> like community activities and events. Just, just some of your highlights that, that you think about when you think about really making an impression because I'm sure that there's been some athletes that's come to you and that's been their whole thing. Like, you know, I want a hoop, I want a ball, whatever it may be. But then you realize, man. It's like, this is like my little sister now. This is, you know what I mean? Like they really needed just that, you know, like inspiration outside of the sport. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm curious on, on how that's affected you and, and stuff that you've you know accomplished so far. See, it's crazy because yeah. um, a lot of people who are now understanding the her sports journey, they only see me as a sp- like a sports entrepreneur. But mm-hmm. I've been working in the community for a long time. Mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. a, like a 15 year background in human services from working in corrections all the way to the school. So mm-hmm. I've always been in a community or helping um, certain targeted populations that are in need mm-hmm. or underserved. Mm-hmm. And so um, especially with sports. I think it's more of because I'm just straight and direct with them. Like I'm soft and gentle when it's needed, but I hold them accountable. Um, I give them certain consequences that I'm allowed to do. And so mm-hmm. they like that. They need that. And um, I still have connections with my kids that I've coached in the past. They mm-hmm. they contact me with their accomplishments. So I think nowadays kids see that and they want my opinion. I, mm-hmm. You know, I still have confidence, that self-esteem. I say that you can do it. You can overcome. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm very transparent mm-hmm. with them. If I'm struggling, I let them know, like, I'm having a bad day. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. please give me, you know, I'm having a bad day. So if I come off any type of different, I'm having a bad day. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I think that transparency and, and that authentic um you know, perception that they they see of me. I, that's why I think um, you know I get a good response, and it's just not yeah. from the um, the girls. It's from the boys too. I have mm-hmm. a couple of boys say, okay, "Okay, Jess, can you do this for me? Can you do it? Can you make a him sports? Can you?" Uh, <laughs> I like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just give me. Let me just focus uh, on the girls. Uh, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, and what, what about some of those accomplishments that really stood out to you? And then, and and, and the goals. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. like I said, you, you've done some 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 big things through her sports. Um, but you know, but that and then some things you haven't done yet. Some of your top goals. But, but before we move away from just the, the topic you just now commented on, I do want to ask, do you find yourself having to fill a different role or a role that you 
kind of didn't know you would have to step in into this position as far as what our young females mm-hmm. need this day and age mm-hmm. to, you know, stay on the right track. Absolutely. So mm-hmm. like right now, I'm going to be very transparent. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like I'm exhausted a little bit because I've been a parent. I've been that sister. I've been that mm. aunt to a lot of these girls. And it, it does become, you know, exhausting because you mm. want to do so much yeah. for these kids. And some of these parents are not stepping up as a parent. So. And they, they look to us coaches, community leaders and interventions to do that job. Yeah. And sometimes mm. it does get exhausting you know and yeah. i had the right to be exhausted but yep. Yep. um i only have it for a little bit mm-hmm. you know and then i had to get myself together mm. but um yeah i'm i'm everything yeah. under yeah. the sun that you can think of yeah. and that's okay because this is something that i this is god's work and so yeah. you know when i feel like i'm stressed out all i gotta do is be like all right god you know help me tighten up mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. but back on to you about you know my accomplishments it's been a it's been a struggle to sit back and embrace everything because i'm mm-hmm. gonna go like that's the athlete in me is like all right i've accomplished yeah. one thing let, let me continue and train for something else but yeah. like last year's gala like the the turnout mm-hmm. um it was amazing the community to support just to see all the girls from different um you know sports categories to come in um mm-hmm. the layout mm-hmm. that was that that really showed me how much support I have as well as these Her Sports Day events that I have from mm-hmm. the communities coming out, the vendors. I think that as well as my partnerships, I have over 55 partnerships yeah, within the big. past three years. Mm-hmm. And so I think relationships um, are key to um, a thriving, small nonprofit at the moment. So mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. goal is to be a nationally known there you go. Um, her sports, there you go. Um, like a nationally known organization, mm-hmm. travel around the, um, the country just to get that uh, yeah. mission out and collaborate with other organizations mm-hmm. and like Nike, ESPNW, I'm trying to get under their, yeah. you know, advisory. That's, that's <laughs> I see that. That'd so I do. I see that. The work is not done. Like I said, I'm only in the first quarter. Right, right. Now, you, you write, you deserve and you earn time to rest like like you are entitled to that. Um, but what help is needed? Because it sounds like you could use volunteers like that's not even um, like sports related. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, because this sounds like such a holistic program to where, you know, whether it's the parents or whether it's community members come in and stepping in. Like, uh, like how can folks learn learn more about how they can help besides just the funding? Yeah, just yeah. besides the funding. Yeah. I just, you know, I need passionate individuals just mm-hmm. like myself to help um, and more of like administrative someone to help you know, the back, like with the logistics things, mm-hmm. that way I can just focus on the programming. Mm-hmm. And also, you know, to be honest, we really need some great, um, some more board members to help balance mm. the board members that we have out to help build that stability, that foundation to get it more um, well known with, throughout the communities and these networks. So it's just, you know, it's just, and I'm always accepting volunteers we have, especially with the flag football league. We need coaches, we need um, um, volunteers to help with the games. Mm-hmm. But um, I have more information coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure, for sure. So I gotta ask you this: <laughs> When you go into to uh, to to John Paul Jones Arena now for UVA women's basketball game, and for those who haven't gone yet, do yourself a favor: get it while the tickets are affordable, because Coach Mox and the ladies are on something big, right? Mm-hmm. Like big enough. As good as her season, her career started uh, here last year. But I wanted to ask you though, Coach Carter, like. <laughs> Like how much joy is in your heart when you see Mo and O out there? So this is my first. And Sarah too. Yeah, this is my first game I'm going to because every other time I'm busy doing something. But I'm always, the past three games, I'm on my phone, like mm-hmm. looking at the stats. Mm-hmm. It's, I'm engaged now. And I and I love what Coach Mox is doing, bringing, you know, our hometown girls, heroes mm-hmm. um, to the back to the UVA mm-hmm. um, arena to see that. And just to see Mo and O on the court at the same time when back when they was in high school, it was a lot of, you know, how people try to compete and try to use it. Yeah. So it's just good to see them together. Mm -hmm. Um, And as well as Sam and, you know, the other Mm -hmm. girls that I've been able to meet and they've been um, volunteering for her sports, they have great personalities. So just to see that and that the family oriented, that Mm -hmm. um, atmosphere that coach Mox is building, it's going to be something nice. We're going to be ranked very soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Kamora needs to be ACC player of the month week whatever they give her because i mean I, I don't know who in acc has been balling more consistent yeah so i, I yeah. text um i remember a while ago when she was in high school um i used to just send her messages and said 
um, McDonald's All American. We shooting for that. She shot mm-hmm. for that, and then well, she. I mean. I, I manifested that for her, yeah. you know, but she did the work. Um, Mo was a very sweet. And now I, 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 I inboxed her and said, all right, um, Hall of Fame, <laughs> mm, Hall of go. Fame, mm. like Hall of Fame. But no, Mo was a sweet kid. O was a sweet kid. Mm. Um, Mo definitely needs some recognition. She, yes, she's going to carry. She's a point guard. So welcome to the yep. game, Coach Mo. Through and through. <laughs> yeah. Through. Yeah. So, you know, I got a, a pretty serious question for you. Um Want to get your thoughts on Jerry Mon Green putting that player in, in chokehold? Because <laughs> um, when I saw that, I just saw you know player trying to break up a fight. That's all, just trying to <laughs> prevent an altercation. Is that what you saw? Uh, anyway, what saw. But all right, anyway. <laughs> what are your thoughts as a basketball player? So I'm gonna be honest. Mm-hmm. I don't watch the NBA. Yeah, mm-hmm. I only okay. watch clips. I I I, I stop watching the nba when i felt like it was a business mm. um but you know you get the memes and stuff and i'm like they 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 out there really playing football you know so i can't really express how i feel because i just seen yeah, um clips and stuff but um yeah it's kind of okay. getting a little aggressive yeah. out there so yeah. on a on a more serious note though angel reese mm-hmm. um your thoughts about the way she's changing the game of basketball especially in the at the collegiate level um and I hear she was mm-hmm. benched for a little bit last yeah. game. So, yeah, I just had this question from actually one of my parents mm-hmm. um, slash board members. But from what I see, I just think with all the hype that is around Angel Reese mm-hmm. and LSU, I don't think these kids are getting the mental health mm-hmm. support that go. they need. You know, yeah. um, are they putting basketball first anymore? Um, I don't think so. Me either. You know, okay. I don't think so. But I think because they're still young and they're getting all this. Mm-hmm attention they don't know how to manage it you know they're getting this money um so i i was i was kind i felt like lsu was not going to be the same team as last year Mm -hmm. because of all the hype Mm -hmm. all the glam they are on these tv shows angel reese yes she's doing her thing but she has to get back to basketball this whole they have a great team they have to get back or that's they're going to struggle the entire season and that puts any coach in a predicament Mm -hmm. right to to deny their to to truly be a coach and deny their players of whatever is not good for the game yeah is can be frowned upon by parents mm-hmm. um the team themselves and you know just other supporters so yeah that's, yeah that's a difficult balance it's a very difficult balance but any of my players that know me or the parents if my kids are not doing what the program calls they will be, be benched i don't mm-hmm. care how good you are mm-hmm. you, go. you will be sitting on the bench i've benched several of my great players at that time on the bench if your grades ain't good you will be benched you're not gonna play so that's something that i used to do in buford like if they don't have a c or um better grade that you're mm-hmm. not playing so mm-hmm. you'll see all these kids running, or my kids running around to their um, teachers like, can you put this grade in? Can you put this grade in? Because I don't want to run or I want to play. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I think Kim, un- unsure of what's really going on, but mm-hmm. I think Kim really needs to pull that team together and get yeah. it together, uh, get their team back on one accord and put basketball first instead of all the hype. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, lastly, I think, um, the a- can't let you go without just your your insight, you know, real quick on AAU in, in general, mm-hmm. because as beneficial as it can be, it also can be toxic, right? Mm-hmm. And like, um, so if you had your dream, your wish on how AAU organizations like could could work together, or you know, like like what they should represent in in this area, you know, if if if, if you had to have a stump speech about the state of AAU in this area, mm-hmm. like you know, what would your couple comments so, be? Real quick, what do you mean by toxic? Because I'm not real familiar with the AAU. Yeah, so I'm just referring to how it can benefit and it can excel an amateur okay. athlete. Okay, but then you have some selfish people in it as well who okay. who use kids uh, okay. or make false promises to kids. Okay. That's what I meant by toxic. Okay. Yeah, they use kids as clout. You know, mm-hmm. they use kids. They try to um, recruit some of the well-known players in the area and mm-hmm. they use it as clout for money. You know, they are using AU now for a money game. Mm-hmm. But um, you still got you still got great organizations out here like Frankie, you got Phil, you got Tabor. They're still mm-hmm. out there. There are still great coaches out that you mm-hmm. rarely see advertised or anything, mm-hmm. um, but they have results. They show results, actual true results. So I think if, um, if, if we get back to that, instead mm-hmm. of allowing just anybody to develop an organization mm-hmm. and sell, but also the parents need to be educated. These parents are not educated. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. parents, you know, just want their kid to do something and they're putting their trust into that the director of any of those organizations because mm-hmm. they're selling it. They have no, they, 
what else could I say? Okay, mm-hmm. that sounds good. Okay, my kid wants to play. And some mm-hmm. offer them scholarships or play for free because their kid is just that good. But that's just not the way it go. You need these parents need to be educated or whoever um the the guardian is, they need mm-hmm. to be educated before they um go to the organizations that have the most social media likes or yeah. it's, you yeah. know, it's so just, what should they be, what should parents be mindful of when choosing a team? First, they need to do that research and they need to actually um, connect with individuals who've been a part of that organization mm-hmm. to um, see how their experiences is. And also um, talk to the coaches um, that are coaching that kid. Mm-hmm. So their coaches know good organizations that can fit. But also you got to understand these kids, They some kids pay um to play, mm-hmm, but that mm-hmm. does not mean you're going to play, right, yeah. right, right. right? So that's another false hope for these kids. Like, oh, I paid this amount of money, but I'm not getting any playing time. Mm-hmm. So it's it's it's. And I've all I've talked to some people about doing like a seminar, but sometimes you know people don't show up to the seminars mm-hmm. just to educate. But I just they, they really need to do mm-hmm. that research. I mean, yeah. true, they can ask me. I could tell them who <laughs> to go to, who not to. I don't really like that's to right. do that, but mm-hmm, it's yeah. just more of yeah. you know, it's just it's really sad. About about when mm-hmm. AU season come up, I'm like, oh, here we go. Right, right, what right. new team is about to be developed? Because we have so many organizations in just central in, in Charlottesville alone that mm-hmm. first you are breaking these kids up. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you play them together, that's what happened when I was young. Um, we played together from when I was seven all the way up to about mm-hmm. when I 17, I think. Um, so we all played together and we won a state championship 28 no because we know each yeah, other we know, we know the yeah, yeah mm-hmm. so now when you get kids on the same team some of them really don't want to play basketball or football or mm-hmm. whatever soccer because you have set them travel soccer it's off balance it's not mm-hmm. as interesting because um some kids are not as dedicated as those who do um invest their time on mm-hmm. the off season yeah and i'm sorry one, one more quick thing because i heard you mention nba turned you off because it's, it got too business mm-hmm. but when we look at the female athlete and how underpaid they are mm-hmm. is there a balance there in, in your mind or or do you feel like that you know yeah i'm, I'm just curious your, your your thoughts on if female athletes WNBA, would have you could get paid more do you think that would degrade the game um i'm unsure mm-hmm. because um i think it all to be honest the overall barrier is marketing you mm-hmm. know so uh when for like in the, and it's also the area you know like new york you got um las vegas aces you mm. even a soccer team like they their marketing team they're the head of their organization really pours a lot of money in back into the team to mm. gain more um you know fan and support but mm-hmm. i don't think i mean eventually it will because that's just the the nature of the beast you you know mm-hmm. woman sports is on the rise oh let me put in um some bets let yeah. me gamble off them but yes mm-hmm. I, I feel like it but i don't think it would degrade the game at all mm-hmm. um as long as we have some um old heads somewhere back there <laughs> trying to ground these female athletes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. the whole the wholeness approach mental health like you said but jessica thank you thank you thank you for taking time out of your schedule um you know hopefully this was beneficial to you as well i I know our listeners appreciate it um so let them know how to reach you um jessica.carter at hersports.info you can follow me we'll follow us on instagram at her um sports so it's h period e period r underscore sports and you can find me just i'm um, just email me call me my name is on all the um marketing materials just give me a call if you want to help please email me all right all right good stuff well enjoy the rest of your day and much continued success absolutely thank y'all so much thank, thank you i am h o talk show